Welcome back to the showroom presents. We all know that choosing a salad is a good option for your health and your waistline. And now your salad can actually do some good for the world. Our guest today is the author of a new book, The Broad Fork, Recipes for the Wide World of Vegetables and Fruits. And he's teamed up with Newman's Own to promote their Greens for Good contest. Chef Hugh Atchison, welcome to the showroom presents. Hello, Lori, good to be here. So Chef, tell us what is the Greens for Good contest? The Greens for Good contest is an initiative and contest launched by Newman Zone, who has always historically been such an amazing charitable company. They've given away $430 million since their inception in 1982 by the uber-esteemed <laughs> Paul Newman. Um, so, and this is an initiative where people are going to enter in a beautiful salad, their own recipe using a Newman's Own dressing, and the winner of the contest is going to get to tell Newman's Own where they want to donate Newman's own $35,000 worth of money going to the charity of their choice. Very nice. So how do you tell a story through your salad and really through all food? You know, I think that you want to tell a story of your community through food. I think you want to tell a story of where you're at in this world and how you feed yourself and your family. Um, it's a belief system, and I believe in good food. And I think the Newman's own feels exactly the same way, and that's why we're teaming up together. I made a salad here today, which is a beautiful roasted carrot salad um, with avocado and charred scallion and almonds and sesame and then uh, shaved Parmesan Reggiano and the greens of the carrot and parsley leaves. And then I dressed it with a balsamic vinaigrette from Newman's Own. And that just shows a synergy and it shows a way of life that I'm really wanting to capture and wanting to show off. It's cooking from scratch. And I think that uh, when, we t when I tell the story of my life, I want it to be about cooking with my kids in my kitchen and showing them life skills that they'll never forget and ways to assemble good food and make, uh, make a difference in your community by investing in it. So we're all used to proteins like chicken, beef, and fish being the focus on our plates. How do you successfully make veggies and fruits the star of the meal? I think slowly but surely what we're seeing is a reduction in protein size overall. And I think that can be good. I think that uh, we, wanna, we want food these days that makes us feel really good. And I think the food that really makes me feel really good is an abundance of vegetables. I think we want to ce celebrate all that abundance of vegetables that we have at the farmer's markets in our CSA boxes at our local grocery store that takes pride in their vegetable selection. So I think that what we want to do is reduce the protein size, yet compensate for it in other ways with an abundance of different vegetables. So where you had a 12 ounce steak once upon a time with a big potato and one little thing of uh, broccoli, mm -hmm. now it's going to be the four ounces of steak and six different vegetable preparations around it. Maybe there are two different salads and a beautiful rice vegetable dish and roasted cauliflower and, and beautiful sliced tomatoes and some okra. So that to me is the new modern era of food is diverse and I think that it's a wonderful thing to celebrate and I think we do that by making salads in a lot of ways. So what tips do you have for our viewers about making a great salad for their families? I think you know for your family I think you just want to find a vinaigrette that you love or a dressing <laughs> that you love in the Newman's own line there are 25 of them you're bound to find one that you like or your family likes um, and then I think you just want to make sure, sure that you've got texture and contrast crispness and just beautiful local product that you're buying into. I think the world's a better place when once in a while we remember the fact that somebody grew that avocado and somebody raised these carrots and somebody pulled them out of the ground. Even better if you know that person's name. And you do that by going to the farmer's market, figuring it out and engaging and uh, then making a salad. Now you, you spoke about dressings a little earlier. How do you choose the perfect salad dressing for your salad? I think you just want to find one that works. In this way, I picked the balsamic vinaigrette because it works with the sweetness of the carrot and the balsamic uh, vinegar in here is actually nat really naturally sweet and kind of woodsy. When you char things, you begin a sort of nice, beautiful umami flavor to it too. So I think there's a synergy there. Um, and, but you want to find something you like. And if you like ranch dressing, so be it. Make a salad mm. with ranch dressing. Have fun. I'm not actually in all of y'all's kitchen, so I just want you to cook. <laughs> so where can our viewers go for some more information? For the Greens for Good uh, contest, you can go to newmanzone.com backslash greens for good. For information on me, you can go to hughatchison.com. And I've got a new book called The Broad Fork. You can go and buy that at a local bookseller or a big, big name bookseller as well. Fantastic. Chef Hugh Edgson, thank you for joining us here on The Showroom Presents in Buffalo and West New York. Happy salad making. Thanks, Lori.
We have silver jewelry, leather, and of course, beads. Yeah? But where's the real gold? It's here at Airport Plaza Jewelers, the showroom on Union. Over 2,000 new arrivals in 10, 14, and 18 karat gold. Our supplier said, sell it all, regardless of price. Select from a $5 million inventory of real gold chains, bracelets, earrings, diamond, and gemstone rings. Up to 70% off the catalog price. Huge selection, great discounts. Take the 33 East to Union Road for great deals and selection on real gold jewelry at the showroom on Union. 